fail. <laughs> this is different. I'm portage around my neighborhood. It's for a contest held by, uh, oh, she's windy. Held by the Quetico Foundation. Hashtag Quetico Portage Contest, I believe. So you go to their site, choose a listed portage that's in Quetico. I'm doing a, have a smoke portage, 307 meters long, not too long, because I got to go to work today. <laughs> I'm on uh, Have a Smoke Portage on the Malign River. I don't smoke, but I brought a cigar. I don't remember a hill on that portage when I did it. But instead of actually doing the portage, you do the same length around your neighborhood while you're waiting for spring to sprung, to spring to sprung. And then uh, you donate to the Quetico Foundation for all the good things they do. And they do a lot of good. Oh, the hill goes down after. Oh my lord. So, <laughs> the neighbors are looking at me. Some guy just pulled over to watch me. Uh, especially when the lake is right in front of me. Hey. <laughs> That's funny. So if you don't know who the Quetico Foundation is, I've been helping out them for years. They're not like a friends of, they're more like a, kind of a watchdog over wilderness areas, including Quetico. So, they just make sure they remain wild. And uh, yeah, it's a great organization. So get on their site, take a photo or a video yourself, portaging around your neighborhood for a certain distance of a certain portage and uh, donate to them. Oh, she's windy. The ice just got off the lake last night and it's cold. Okay. Oh. You gotta be kidding. I love a canoe trip. There's other ways to get around out here. You can kayak, you can hike, but I prefer the canoe. And Quetico is made for the canoeists. In fact, lots of famous environmentalists have gained inspiration for protecting wilderness by paddling around Quetico. Ernest Oberholzer, a well-known conservationist who helped form the park, celebrated the protection of Quetico by going on a canoe trip here. He later claimed that the trip was the most powerful experience of his life. Otto Leopold also paddled here in 1924, and when it was over, he wanted to save Willis more than ever before. Sigurd Olsen and Eric Morris, both well-known conservationists throughout the 1950s, canoed here together and later fought for the expansion of the Quetico Superior Country. And legendary canoeist and filmmaker Bill Mason even got his start here. Mason was the guy in the red canoe in Chris Chapman's 1956 film, Quetico. Shortly after the trip, Mason made the decision to leave his job as a commercial artist to become a filmmaker, and later, for a generation, was the iconic figure of wilderness travel. All of these people found their inspiration here. Quetico was the true wilderness they hoped it to be. To them, it became a symbol of what we all cherish out here wilderness freedom. Ooh, I'm done. <laughs> I'm out of shape. That's only 307. Well, actually, I did 380 because my guidebook, Quetico and Beyond, says 380. And their site says 307, so I did some extra. 
And why I have a smoked portage? I was on a trip years ago doing that portage and I met a man that was on a three week solo trip and he had two days left. And uh, he said, how's it going? He goes, great, I, I quit smoking uh, <laughs> uh, during the whole trip. And I had, a, I had a cigarette with me because we're filming this silly scene there. I have a smoke portage. I don't smoke personally, but we're just playing around. So I go, well, here, here's the cigarette. Actually, here's the rest of the pack. We're done filming. <laughs> so the next year I was at a show called Canoe Copia. Probably about 600 people in the audience. And telling that story, even showing a picture of him. And he was there in the audience and he stood up, you bugger. <laughs> I quit smoking until that day. I haven't stopped since. So, sorry about that. <laughs> Woo. Well, I've done my good deed for the day. <laughs> Hashtag Quetico Portage Contest. Go to it, snap a photo, do a video of you portaging in your neighborhood uh, of a, one of the portages you would do in Quetico and uh, help a good cause. Great organization. And I am way out of shape. Holy chocolate.